Answer. What's your answer? Are the universities, are, the, are today's universities preparing students for lifelong learning and to succeed in the workforce? Means once you, once these higher education institutes are providing the degrees to the students, are every student from graduating from the higher education institute are able to get a job, a secure job and are able to get employment? Yes? Are, are they suitable for the workforce? Yes or no? Okay. So then where is the drawback? Next slide. So what's the present scenario? Actually this millennials will not hold good. The, this word I have to change actually. This slide I copied from Google. I couldn't edit it. Sorry for that. So here Gen Z actually. You come under Gen Z category. So maximum of the Millennials or the Gen Z, they want increased access to education and training. They needed a start a small business. Many of them they want to because why? They, why the scenario has changed? Because the government jobs we can't we can't back up on government jobs. Yes or not? Though they are keeping the exams, they are undergoing to the leakage leak. Uh, and uh, they are not uh, secured, means they are not giving the notifications in a proper time, right? And for example, in the teaching position itself, nearly 10 years, no notification. Only that's the education sector I'm talking. What about the other sectors? We are not getting jobs. So we can't, bother, we can't depend on government jobs. Most of the millionaires are interested in entrepreneurship means they want to have self-employment. That 50% of the students in entrepreneurship curriculum are unsatisfied. This is one more problem. Though you are doing your BBA or BCom course or BSc course or MBA course, right? Is that course fetching or the curriculum fetching the enough requirement for a student to have a what? The self-employment or a job. So can I say 100% yes, you will have a job when you complete this course? No. So, what you have to do? One, one solution is collaboration. So, academic incubators can fill this gap. So, how these um, academic incubators can fill this gap? What is academic incubation means? Next. The solution with academic institutions is what? Setting up an academic incubator. So I'll come to this word later. Next. So this is my actual session for today. What is? I'll go about the agenda of my presentation is I'm giving you the information about early stage entrepreneurs. What are the types of startups? Accelerators who are uh, accelerators, who are incubators, startup, entrepreneurship ecosystem, business incubators, what is the difference between them and what how do you select, how do you go about it, and what are the challenges? Next. So who are early stage entrepreneurs? I think the, everyone is using nowadays the buzzword entrepreneurs. Yes or not? So who is an entrepreneur? I say I am an entrepreneur because I am pitching my presentation to you. I am an entrepreneur. Do you agree with me or not? So what do you assess with me when I present? After my session, wow, what she said, nothing she said. So you will give me feedback. So to get me a positive feedback, a very good feedback from the audience, I am pitching you. I am pitching in the sense I am presenting my capabilities. I am presenting my abilities. Right? So, your mother is an entrepreneur. At home, your mother is an entrepreneur. Though she is not getting any rewards, no monetary benefits. So, let's go for the definition of previous. What is, who is an entrepreneur? The people. An individual or a group of people. So, a people who create, who launch, organize, manage, a new business and take the risk of business ownership. Yes or not? Do you agree your mother is an entrepreneur? Yes. What is the business she is doing? Taking care of. Right? So, 
What is entrepreneurship? How it is different from entrepreneur? Entrepreneurship, entrepreneur. What is the difference? Entrepreneurship is a process. How you achieve it. Right? So the process of starting and operating your own business is known as entrepreneurship. Then, who are early stage entrepreneurs? As the title involves early stage entrepreneurs. This session is for the students and faculties who are early stage entrepreneurs. So who are early stage entrepreneurs? Is an entrepreneur who is engaged in growing, who is involved in growing up their business. Early stage company or the one that has recently been found. You found it. You founded your own company and it's early stage. Right? You didn't reap any money, reap any money from that. Still it is in a growing stage. Next. So this is the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Means what? If I want to be an entrepreneur, this is the environment involved with it. Means ecosystem is what? The surroundings. You, just, you should have finance. This is the main important thing to have a what? Entrepreneurship. Culture, support system, Human capital, market and policies or regular regulatory bodies or regulations or rules to have a okay entrepreneurship. Next. I'll go for one by one very fast. I don't want to make you boring. So what is human capital? Human capital.